Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean from Fork from Avid Automotive, and today we have a Harley Davidson Four Star Racer with one more. This is the owner of the Harley Davidson Horror Stories from Mark. He's going to go into more detail about this. Let's go. So this started off with a frame, a handmade frame that's made out of 40 DOM material. And then all the parts were precision machine. And starting with this front, front end, which actually looks like a Springer front end, but if you'll notice that it's actually hard mounted but it looks like a Springer, like on a regular motorcycle. So you've got Harley Davidson forks. You got an entire system here. This actually came off of a bicycle to give it the uh, the, for the fork look. All the controls are Harley Davidson. Um, this seat, this seat here, actually, there's eight inches cut off the bottom of this, just to get it low enough so that you didn't sit way way up here like a traditional bar stool. It's a, a Sportster. 2008 883 cubic inch, uh, five speed. Uh, the, the hardest part on this build is actually the motor mounts because Harley Davidson motor mounts is a rubber, uh, collapsed rubber uh, mate in the front and two in the back. And so I had to custom machine just to be able to hold that engine in place. But there's so much torque there. Uh, it took me years to find the pipes. These pipes, these straight pipes, was not easy to come by. So that I wanted, I wanted that look because I wanted it basically for show, you know, go down in the parking lot, having fun. The live axle on this is uh, is a solid axle. It is not one wheel, so you got both wheels spinning all the time, which is uh, kind of a kind of a difficult problem when you want to turn because both wheels got turned equally. These are actually the old Harley Davidson um, ice blocks. So you can actually see inside these guys the original, the original uh, ice box the way they put ice in, put their cooler in there, put their stuff to cool it. Kind of, kind of different. The the uh, live axle too is also all go kart racing, as well as the brake system. The gas tank is for go kart originally, which is a one gallon. What about the engine? The engine is an 883, 2008. Uh, and the difference with this engine here is there's no electronics. It's all done by a timing light on the camshaft. Uh, so Hog Cycles in, uh, down in uh, San Antonio is going to actually model all the plumbing, all the wiring, and uh, they had it for almost seven months just to get all the plumbing done on it. It took me four and a half years to do this. That's pretty cool. If you were to like, I, in fact, I know you wouldn't do it because you said this thing scares you, but if you were to just like the fork, you think you could peel out of the wheels? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you, you know, getting, I've gone, I've gotten it in the second gear before, but it got so wild that it was too much on the throttle. To go up to fifth gear, I don't have all the Did it feel like wobbling from second gear? No, it was completely. No, it, it weighs. It probably weighs close to 750, 800 pounds. Uh, it takes six guys to lift it. Uh, the trailer I had before we had to literally lift it and carry it on, and it is it's heavy. Uh, I don't. Everybody wants to know how fast it goes. I'm not that guy. <laughs> How many different things are in this? Like, so you got the go kart, and then you got the go kart tires, and then you got the wagon, and then you got five handles. You got, uh, you got, a, you've got. Uh, this actually is a red rider, 
wagon that I that I was able to buy new, and it was the largest one I could find. So I had it powder coated. You've got uh, you got Harley Davidson Ford Ford controls on the bottom. You got Harley Davidson riders, Harley Davidson seat motor, and everything. Oh, and uh, of course the the coolers. But everything else is uh, pretty much handmade. Yeah, there's. I have never seen another one like that. How did you come up with this idea? So I had a company that I uh, was working with that was really big on uh, Red Raider uh, parking lot, you know, parties. And I was gonna, I did it to go to, to the Red Raider show. And uh, that kind of went sideways. So I started, I started, I kept working on it and uh, went to Wild West by Davidson and they said they didn't want to name it. And so I got a hold of Mark Barnett and we ended up with Barnett. Mark Davidson. Is this how the like, initial idea was, or how much did it change from your initial idea? It hasn't changed. I didn't take a schematic or make it. I mean, I did a hand sketch for what I basically wanted, and it just built from there. So nothing was really changed. You got this idea. Yeah, I had, I had the idea. Of course, you don't think about how you're going to connect this and connect that. You just kind of feel that as you go. Did anybody like kind of seem hesitant when you pitched this idea to them? Do what? Did anybody seem hesitant when you pitched this idea to them? Uh, everybody. All I've had is everybody wants to sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody wants to see it run. Of course, everybody wants to see how fast it goes. Uh, you'd have to have a big, long straightaway. But it's, it's a rigid frame. There's no shocks on it. So it, you feel everything. The, uh, the engine originally uh, did not have all these chrome covers. That was all aluminum. So that was the only thing that's actually been touched on the engine. It's stock other than that. That's pretty freaking cool. Does each tire have its own brake system or just the back? Just the back. The back, the brake system locks up the back axle and that's it. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. And then what kind of like go for it did you take this frame from? I didn't. I oh. made that frame. Oh really? Yeah, so that frame is completely handmade. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's there's, there's nothing here. I can tell you the bought items. The purchase items, the gas tank, this guy, the pipes, the axle, the brake, the, the brake controller, the motor, the oil tank, the handlebars, all the all everything in orange except this is in. That's nuts. And is that something that you had to reach out to people to help you with or did you do No, I've done hundred percent of this myself. Wow, that's crazy. So, I, I know you're married, what did your wife think about this the whole time you're doing it? Well, my, my friends call me Captain Gizmo. Gizmo. <laughs> and I've been stuck with that for, in the early 80s. Some of those friends are going to see this video, and they know who Captain Gizmo is. So, this is just another product of stuff I like to build. That's awesome. Building, building something, you know, and that's what you try to do. You try to build something that nobody else has. Or a seat, like in your case. You know, it, 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 it's, it's completely different than buying a go -kart. I think you should sit on it. And I think you should start it up. Okay. So what you do is you just, you just put your foot right on that pad. And I'll remove the, the deal here. Just turn it on. Get, get, the, get your gas on. Gas it on. And then how do you store it? You just hit the switch. Oh, yeah. It's like a car. Because I'm too scared to like really go, now you maybe 45, 45, 
thousand at most was a damn much. That's great. How high do you think you could go? I I don't even know what it's paid for. Because <laughs> I feel like I was barely tapping the potential. Not scared I'm gonna like break a window or something. Yeah, it, 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 it does make a lot of resonance. That's cool. That's that's really freaking cool. But, all right, well, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. You're very, very welcome. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, X. Um, special thanks to Cook's Garage here in Lubbock, Texas, for letting us film and come in here before hours. We're here at 6.50 in the morning, so that's really awesome of them. Uh, Mark, the owner, has this for sale. I'll list this info below if you're interested in buying it. Peace out, so see you guys next week.